what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a story out of Joppa, Maryland, where a black woman went to the bank to cash her check and had it stolen by a teller. Backstory. The woman goes to the bank with her $90 and some change check. She hands it to the teller. She says the teller immediately becomes suspicious and runs the check, comes back and tell her that she called her company. They said they don't know who she is. The check is fraudulent. She keeps the check, tells her to leave, and there's some back and forth. The woman threatens to call the police. And that's when she says, well, she decides she's going to call the police first. The woman decides she's going to call the police first. The teller slams the window and the police shows up, questions the woman. The woman says that, well, I put the check in the vault. So ain't nothing can be done anyway. The woman calls her boss and lets the police talk to him and everything. They verify, yeah, the check is good, but they can't get the check because the woman claims she put it in the vault. Now, why would she put a fraudulent check in the vault if she knows that the police is on the way? That is because she knew she was in the wrong. She knew exactly what she was doing. Family, do you have any idea what the race of the teller was? Take a wild guess. Oh, you never figured out. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. She was white. <laughs> and here's the thing. The woman says at this moment, she still hasn't gotten her check. She's been calling calling. She said the police even called her to check up on her and make sure everything was okay. She said she still hadn't gotten her check. Now, interesting enough, the police couldn't do or refuse to do anything to the teller. It's no secret that racism is baked in the American banking system. There's few black executives in the high echelon positions of most financial institutions. Hell, Leading banks recently settled a claim with black employees for discriminating against them, denying them, isolating them from their white peers, placing them in the poorest branches and cutting them off from career opportunities. Black customers are sometimes profiled for just walking inside of the bank. And the most minor transactions are questioned. So this has been going on. Don't be fooled by the nice suits and pretty dresses and the motivational words about the bank and how well they treat their customers. Don't be fooled by none of that stuff. That ain't for you. It's all game. I don't know the teller's name, I know that she's an old, bitter woman, and I do know this. Her mama should be embarrassed and her daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the talking about?